Hello and welcome back to the Lobo Designs channel. My name is Heather Lynn, owner of Lobo Designs, here today with a tutorial on why you can't create single line designs from Procreate. And while that sounds like a negative thing, it's not. This is simply for educational purposes. I get this question a lot and I wanna make sure that I explain it in a way that is easily understood and give you alternative options on which applications you can use to create single line designs. So let's get started. The shapes that you're looking at on my screen look like they may have been drawn in Adobe Illustrator. However, this is a PNG export from something that I drew in Procreate with the quick shapes function. And I'm going to use these to show you the difference between why you can use Adobe Illustrator for single line designs and why you can't use Procreate for single line designs. And it all comes down to raster versus vector. And I'll give you a breakdown on the difference between the two, just in case you're not familiar. Raster artwork is what is exported from Procreate. Procreate does not support vector exports. Therefore, anything exported from Procreate can only be engraved or you can bring it into another design software and you can image trace it to turn it into a vector. But what I mean by raster is that we're working with pixels. So currently, this is an image that I imported from Procreate. And if I zoom all the way in, you'll be able to see the pixels that were exported as part of the design. Because this is a PNG, it's working with pixels, which are these tiny little squares here that you see. And they're not as even as it would be if it were a vector design, which means that instead of working in pixels, it would be a complex mathematical equation that your computer can read based on paths, nodes, anchors, things that you can use when you're designing. Right now, I can't do anything with this image because it's only in PNG form. But once I image trace it, we can do anything we want with it because then it will be in vector form and we'll be able to export as an SVG, which is a scalable vector graphic, which means as small as you make it or as large as you make it, it doesn't change its quality at all. PNGs, JPEGs are raster. You make them small and then you try and blow them back up and they become blurry again. So I'm going to show you how we image trace these and I'm also going to explain why you wouldn't be able to use this exact PNG without modifying it for scoring purposes or for single line purposes on a scroll saw or something similar. And here's why. Everything exported from Procreate, like I said before, is in raster version. So regardless of which design software you import it into, whether it be Inkscape and you do a trace bitmap, if you bring it into Adobe Illustrator and you do an image trace, it doesn't matter what program you use, image tracing will always trace the inside and the outside of a path. So if I were to take this image that I imported from Procreate and I image traced it, I'll show you what it would look like. So I'm going to go into the image trace panel. I'm going to select this and I'm going to hit trace. Then I'm going to go up into object, go to expand and click OK. And then I'm going to use the magic wand tool Y on my keyboard, clicking anywhere in the white area and hit delete. Now I'm going to click on this and I'm going to ungroup Command Shift G, or you can right click and select ungroup. I'm going to ungroup all the way down so that we control these shapes individually. So if you can see now, I'm gonna switch over into outline view just so you can see the difference. This is what it looked like before as a PNG in raster version. And now this is what it looks like as a vector file with outlines. So if I zoom in here, I'm in outline mode, again, Command Y or Control Y on your keyboard, or you can go up into the view menu and go into outline mode. It traced the inside of this square and the outside of this square, the inside of this triangle and the outside along with the circle on this side. So you would not be able to use this for a single line file until you manually edited it to remove one of these paths, which isn't hard, but some users believe that they would be able to cut this out as one shape, and then it gets confusing as to why I produced two cuts. So what happens again, when you do an image trace or a trace bitmap, you go in and it will retrace the inside and the outside of your lines. It doesn't matter how thin they are, if it's exported in raster and then traced to vector, there will always be a double path. So in Illustrator, you can easily remove these inside paths for simple shapes by using the direct selection tool. So I'm gonna hit A on my keyboard, or if I go over here, I can hit this direct selection tool A, which is the filled in arrow up at the top left, and I will zoom in a little bit and I will either delete the inside path or the outside path. For me, I usually delete the inside, 
So hit delete twice on your keyboard. So what I'm doing here is I'm zooming in, I'm clicking, delete, delete, and making sure that I have all of those paths gone. Again, clicking on the inside path, delete twice on my keyboard. And now we have three shapes that we could cut as a single line file. But if we would have cut them the other way, they would have been very thin and most likely charred geometric shapes that we wouldn't be able to do much with. So now I'm going to go outside of outline mode and switch back into preview mode. And now I have three solid shapes that I can easily select. Change from stroke to fill by hitting shift X or clicking this tiny little arrow over here. And then I can change it to a red stroke and easily cut these three shapes on my laser without any issues of a double cut path. So I hope that was helpful in explaining why you can't use Procreate for single line files and how you can easily edit those files inside another design software to make sure that they're safe for single line. And that concludes this tutorial. As always, feel free to join us in the Glow Create group on Facebook for additional tips and tricks on how to use Procreate and Adobe Illustrator beyond the screen to turn your digital artwork into physical products. If you enjoyed this video and would like to be notified of future tutorials, please hit the like button and subscribe below. Until next time, this is Heather Lynn of Lobo Design signing off. I'll holla at you later.